Hi, this is Rick. This is the new Ross AI Revive system that's just been completed. This is going to be a demo. Just wait for these guys to go past. Okay, the Ross AI Revive system allows AI to revive AI, AI to revive players, players to revive AI. Works in single player, multiplayer, and it also works with the Ross vehicle repair script. Works for the entire side, and there are lots of configurable options as well. So, as you can see from this, we have a static unit up on the top of the tower, one over here, another one up on the top of that tower. So, I'm going to shoot this guy, and I'll show you how it works. Now, in the background, there's a health monitoring system that monitors the health of all the units, and checks for incapacitated, injured state, and so on. Once it finds a suitable unit, it assigns that unit to as a close responder and sends that responder to heal the downed unit. This also works with group units or units that are completely independent of our team. You can hear the units shouting, it puts a revive option for players on, on the units. It brings in units from nearby, like that unit just come down, it's coming to help. This guy's finished healing that guy up there. The guy that was healed on the top of the tower has also come down to help. The smoke is popped normally in line with the nearest Standing enemy by. but since there's no enemy around at the moment the script uh, places the smoke behind the um, responders back Awaiting orders. this is not a grenade this is simulated smoke so that it doesn't get affected by wind too much so it does give you some form of cover once the static units are have completed their revive you see them returning back to their normal position like that one's going back up onto the tower that one's going up when the unit is incapacitated it drops a lot of blood when the responder starts work on the unit then uh, he drops various bits of medical waste I'll show you the AI revive player Taking command. Help! <clears throat> the responder generally uh, will wait for at least five. To 10 seconds before it actually responds to the downed unit. And this is to allow for the uh, the default uh, unconscious animation to complete. Now I'm going to show you how it works with the repair script. In this vehicle there is a, a group. Let's get rid of these guys first. Move right on the way. Ready. I'm gonna destroy the or damage this vehicle with those two IEDs which are extremely well hidden. Default behavior is get out when there's a when the vehicle is damaged. Uh, automatically pop smoke normally between the uh, enemy and the vehicle that's damaged. So I'm going to shoot this guy. Sorry about that. The units can die, 
and as you can see it also drops a marker which gets cleared it uses different animations depending on how close an enemy is if an enemy is within 300 meters then it uses the lying down animation for uh, healing yourself as well as for um, revive and this applies to players as well so now once the units have been uh, revived they get back into the assigned vehicle Okay. Sorry about that. This is showing the player revive AI. It uses default sound effects from Armor 3. Okay, so it's very easy to install. Um, this mission is called the Dogs of War Part 1. Um, I'm going to update it with all the latest scripts and send it on to Steam Workshop. You can then download the mission, uh, unpack it and use the scripts as you see fit. Uh, you, if you post any missions that use these scripts then you must give me credit in your mission and on your Steam uh, Workshop page. Um, Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. If you enjoyed this content and are new to this channel, make sure you click on the subscribe button and the bell next to it so you can get notified when we release new content. As always, thanks for watching and see you next time.